good morning you guys and welcome to another vlog this here is a little teacher vlog i do not know how long this video will be honestly i'm expecting it to be short because anytime i vlog at work my brain gets started and i completely forget to continue to vlog so i'm gonna do my best to create a video today is thursday so hopefully i can vlog a little bit today <clears throat> and edit it tonight because I'm trying my best, even though I'm back at work, to keep up with my schedule. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I've been pretty consistent for the past couple months. I've been uploading twice a week, once on Monday, once on Friday, and I'm a little worried that now that I'm back at work, my schedule is gonna change and my content might not get created, but I will do my best. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe if you aren't already and feel free to leave a comment down below on just kind of what you're enjoying right now um, as far as like my videos. What kind of videos are you guys enjoying? I mainly just vlog like mom vlogs but um, I'm also a teacher and a wife so family vlogs but also career wise. I don't know. Anyways, just comment down below if you would like and to share what it is that you enjoy watching. Well, later on today, I am going to be venting to you guys about some things and some anxieties that I have regarding my career, specifically my job this school year. So um, listen or watch the whole video so that you guys can kind of hear what it is that I'm going through. And of course, you guys can provide some feedback or thoughts uh, because I've been dealing with a lot of anxieties when it comes to my job and I don't want to go into detail right now because I'm trying to get to work but I will definitely talk to you guys later on in the afternoon which will probably be the next clip or so but yeah um, I'm gonna drive to work and check in with you guys when I get there So I just made it in and the announcements just went on that we are on a rally schedule, which means I gotta teach right away, which is fine. My lessons are ready and everything. I just like that I have advisory because my advisory time allows me to prepare a little bit. So the fact that there's no advisory, my first period's gonna come in and we're gonna get started with content, which is fine. I just need to review my lesson because I made it a few days ago. And um, yeah, so I made it to my room. Kinda wanna show you guys my new layout. So this is my new layout. I switched it up because I use this Prithian board now. And so, I um, it's easier for all the kids to see. So I kinda like this view better instead of having it up there and trying to Make space for kids to see. So, there we are. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put up the schedule for today, teach my first period, and I will probably see you guys on my break. All right, you guys have three minutes. If you're done, go ahead and start cleaning up. Make sure you put your computers back, put them on the chargers, clean up your space.
you guys i'm checking in it's three o'clock and i actually already got home and changed and i actually forgot my phone in the car and so i thought this was a perfect opportunity to go ahead and quickly just briefly explain what i was going to talk to you guys about this morning so i guess since i started the vlog in the car it's fine that i end it but i just wanted to tell you guys that since I've been at this new school site, as you know, I, if you've been following my channel for a while, that I was teaching elementary and then I moved to teach middle school. And this middle school is not in the best neighborhood. And there are a lot of behavioral issues at this school. And as much as I love teaching my content, I believe my mental health is becoming more important over my career. And so long story short, um, I have been having a lot of anxieties with my job just because since pretty much October, like the end of last year, um, there's been a lot of incidents that take place on my campus, such as like homeless people being on the campus, people um, overdosing on the campus, like not, not students, but just like the area, the neighborhood. Um, I've driven up to the school for, you know, starting in the morning where um, there's police officers, fire trucks, like all this whole freaking scene. Um, and it's just triggering to me because I'm not used to things like that. And then um, there's been like incidences where students are, classrooms are being searched. We have a police officer as part of our staff. We have random drug searches where students and teachers are expected to just leave the classroom for about two to three minutes where they go in and search the classrooms. Um, and this is all taking place within the first, like the end of last year. And so start of January, that was when the cop became, like the police officer became a part of our staff. And so every morning there's a police car in the front and a staff, uh, officer on site. And um, long story short, like I said, I'm just gonna try to briefly go over this and I can, if you guys have questions or even care, I can kind of share more with you guys at a later time. But um, just to end this video, how I told you guys I would, um, there has also been just coming back back from spring break or from my baby bonding. So yesterday was uh, Wednesday and the day before was Tuesday. So on Tuesday, we had a drug search where they came in literally the first hour of the day to do a drug search. And then right away, my anxiety started freaking out. And I was just like, are you kidding me? It's literally my first day back and we already have another drug search. Not another, but like we already have a drug search, which this just these things just kind of freak me out because like random strangers are coming into my classroom with this dog to search all of our stuff and it's just very uncomfortable and then yesterday i got home from work and i received a email or sorry i received a call from my principal explaining that there was a student that had a weapon on campus and they supposedly had no intent to harm anyone and everyone is safe but it's just like things like this happen at your school sites and you don't even know about it like i literally went all day yesterday not even having any idea who the student is and i still don't or what their intent was or the reason like we don't get any answers it's just like a notification like hey someone was on campus with a weapon but you don't know if it's one of your students and so things like that trigger me and freak me out and it's been really affecting me and i've just been having a hard time being back at work and if you watched one of my old videos a few weeks ago where i was talking about me being in a dark space or having a hard time even just like thinking about some things this is what i was talking about i was referring to my job like i literally have talked to my doctor about this and my doctor actually recommended me to take leave from this school year and not to return next year and unfortunately i can't afford to do that but for my mental health like i need to do that because it's this is a lot like every day literally feeling like who knows if something's gonna happen or if this is my last freaking day or if if like any of my students or any students gonna like plot something on me like I don't know my brain just goes to some crazy places and it's just freaks me out that I'm living in this like I know there's so many things that happen at schools like shootings and things like that and I don't know the backstory and the the environment that these shootings and things happen but this just feels like a constant threat, like literally every day. And it's just kind of scary. And it's really just taking a toll on me. And it's affecting me outside of work. Like I was talking to my doctor on how this, like my anxiety has been heightened. And it hasn't been from postpartum because I've had two kids already. And my anxiety did not 
like affect me like this and he's telling me i have some sort of ptsd from all these events that keep taking place in my workspace which is why he encourages me to not yeah yeah um why he encourages me not to be at this school but yeah that's kind of where i'm at and that explains also why i was telling you guys that i'm always late to work now if you know me you know i would show up to work by 6 30 7 o'clock every day and have like an hour to myself to just set up and get myself started for the day and shortly after coming to this school i couldn't do that anymore like i cannot be at that school before 7 30 because before that there's not that many people on campus and so it's it sucks because I didn't know I was stepping into this type of environment and this environment is not safe or healthy for me and so I'm just gonna keep praying and hope things get better but I know I just talked for a while and I know this video might be short but chatty so I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here I hope you guys enjoyed it I will see you guys soon and encourage me to continue <laughs> to post as I get busy with work and um the end of the school year so thank you guys so much bye